Listen. Listen to the words of three men flying around the moon. We are now approaching uh, lunar sunrise, and uh, for all the people back on Earth, the crew of Apollo 8 has a message that we would like to send to you. Well, Apollo 8 originally was an Earth orbital mission uh, exercising the lunar module, but the lunar module was way behind. We had intelligence information that the Russians were going to put a man around the moon probably in December of 1968. The people in the NASA had come up with the idea of moving Apollo 8 to a lunar orbital mission. Why don't we send the command service module of Apollo 8 to orbit the moon and we can learn a lot about the communication system, the navigation system, how the moon's gravity would affect the uh, orbiting spacecraft, look for suitable landing spots. So we had to condense into four months what usually took a, a year to 18 months of training. Everybody was motivated. Everybody was dedicated. And the basic idea was to beat the Russians to the moon. That was a political goal that was set by President Kennedy and we were all determined to meet it, to beat it. Apollo 8 it developed a, a lot of attention. It uh, filled a big square uh, in preparation for uh, later Apollo flights. Well, I got into the big Saturn V. This would be the first time that man had actually launched on a Saturn V. So I thought to myself after this four months of heavy training, I, I said, you know, I'm actually going to go to the moon. The engines are on. Four. Three, two, one, zero. Well, the Saturn V still is the most powerful machine ever made, and for 17 missions, it flew perfectly. We have cleared the tower. We had orbited the Earth, first of all, to check our spacecraft out. Then, when everything was right and the spacecraft looked fine to go to the moon, we lit the third stage for a second time. Trajectory and guidance are go, over. We could actually coast all the way to the moon. And after a while, you could look back and see the Earth getting smaller and smaller. Apollo 8, very complete. Uh, Apollo 8, this is Houston. Roger, good to hear your voice. People on Earth tend to call the, the far side of the moon the dark side, but that's a misnomer. Uh, on our flight, the moon was between the Earth and the sun, and the far side was lit by the sun. Uh, we saw the far side. You know, we were like three school kids looking through a candy store window, I guess, just staring at the unnamed craters as they slowly passed us by. Uh, we were busy shooting uh, pictures of the lunar surface for uh, lunar landing sites uh, for uh, upcoming uh, lunar landings. And then suddenly I looked out the window and here was this gorgeous orb coming up. And I thought, holy moly. And there over the lunar landscape was the Earth. The Earth was beautiful. It was the only thing in the whole universe that had any color. I had fought to have a, a long lens and color film. I didn't have a light meter, just banged off a, a dozen or so pictures, changing the f-stop each click. I put my thumb up to the window of the spacecraft, and I could completely hide the Earth behind my thumb. The Earth is a mere speck in the Milky Way galaxy. Look what we have here. Water and an atmosphere. We're orbiting a star just at the proper distance to absorb that star's energy. God has given mankind a stage upon which to perform. How the play turns out is up to us. For all the people back on Earth, the crew of Apollo 8 has a message that we would like to send to you. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the Earth. And the Earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And from the crew of Apollo 8, we close with good night, good luck, a Merry Christmas, and God bless all of you, all of you on the good earth.
it's important for America to be at the forefront of space exploration. That drives technology. One of the important facets of the Apollo program was the coordination and the organization of the American industry to achieve a great goal. That we need to be a world leader, not just on the Earth, but in space.